Why is SEO so important? SEO is the most effective way to get organic traffic, meaning that efforts you put in in the beginning will keep providing traffic over the long term. But it has to be done correctly, of course. Look at it this way. The concept of SEO is basically being a translator. You work as a translator between a web page and a search engine. When you meet another person that doesn't speak your language, you need a translator to understand what they're saying, right? Well, SEO is being a translator between your website and Google. So we're telling Google what our website is about and what's in it in the language of a search engine. Example, images cannot be understood by Google. So we add an alt tag. An alt tag is a description of the image so that Google can understand it. Another example is a title tag, which is a description of your page and is also what you'll see in the Google results when you type in something. So what you see in the, in the results, so for example, you see the first result is Nike.com, then that is the title tag they use. Sometimes Google will change that, but you can't do anything about it. So this is what optimizing your site means. Now, there are a lot of other things that you can do to optimize a site, but I won't get into that right now because the whole topic right here is what SEO is. I'd be glad to do so in another video though, if you guys let me know in the comments. Okay, let's say you've optimized your site, but what's the purpose of explaining your site to Google? Well, once a search engine understands what the page is about, it then has to categorize it in its huge library of pages. The SEO jargon for this process is called indexing. So when Google crawls a page and categorizes it, that is called indexing. If there was a way you could persuade or influence where Google places your page in its library, wouldn't that be amazing? And yes, you can, because that's what SEO is all about. When Google scans a page, that is referred to as crawling a page in SEO terms. It looks for specific keywords in your page. And that was the reason why we optimized our site from the beginning, to let Google know what pages are about, what our pages are about, and then they can easily place them within their library. When a user writes something in the search bar of Google, that is called a search query or a search term. Well, actually the search term is what they're writing and the search query is what they're, is, is that they are writing something. And the important words used in the search query are called keywords. And then there are also long tail keywords. This is when a keyword has more than five or four or five words, meaning that it's more specific. Long tail keywords have less volume usually because they're more specific, but they'll be more targeted, which is better because you'll waste less time and have a higher click through rate. So what if your page has the word cup multiple times in it, as in a cup of tea, but that page is actually about tea, not about cups, right? And that tea is maybe used for baking, not for using as in a cup of tea like an example, the company Simple Tea. Then how will Google know the page is not about cups of tea, but about baking tea, like baking tea for baking cookies or baking cakes with the tea? Well, that's why there's a hierarchy Google uses when they scan your page. Or as John Mueller more accurately described it, it is the proper organization of a web document. So Google will scan your page's title tag and header. That means your H1, which you should only have one H1 on your page. And then your H2s, which will go under your H1s. And then your H3s, which will go under the H2s. I'll show a simple structure organization uh, picture somewhere here. There isn't necessarily one of them that's more important to be handling your keyword. So you don't have to put your keyword in the first one and the second one. It's not really important, but you should have it in, your, in the H1 and most likely in the beginning of the H1. That would be better as well but there isn't really any proof that it's better to put it anywhere, but it's a common practice that people have been doing for a long time. It doesn't mean it's the best way, that's just how it is for now. Google scans these headers, these H1s, H2s, H3s, to understand the general topic of the page and also the structure. It used to be common to think that H1s are more important, but Google got smarter as more people started to manipulate the rankings and try to use uh, sketchy tactics, well, they've changed their ways and they put less importance to the H1. It is still important nonetheless. You can check the link in the bottom description where a uh, Google representative gives his thought on, on the matter. Okay, so then Google will go through all your body text, links, images. They'll try to find keywords that are in the general topic that they found in the headers. And that's how they find what keywords are best for this page. Based on what you've used in your body text and in your headers and all that, and that comes from your keyword research that you've done 
before that. So SEO in a nutshell is manipulating the contents of a page so that Google can serve it better to the right users. If you guys want a video where I go into more details to the different uh, aspects of SEO, for example, uh, SEO keyword research, SEO auditing, article writing, ranking factors, local SEO technical, all that stuff, let me know what's most important to you and I'll make a video on whatever you guys think you need. All right guys, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I've got lots more coming soon and my digital marketing career for beginners playlist is somewhere around here and my software reviews playlist somewhere around here and I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Take care. Huh?